So uh, what are some of the natural treatments that you can provide for patients with H. pylori? And and everybody talks about mastic gum as one of the. Yes, yes, absolutely. I think I think doing the NAC uh, before and maybe even during and for as long as you can is definitely beneficial. Adding probiotics, mastic gum. And for NAC. Are we talking about like 600 milligrams three times a day or something Absolutely. like that? 600 milligrams. I usually pair it with the antibiotics and usually they're about three times a day. So 600 milligrams three times a day. If I can go higher, I would just depending on what the patient can tolerate. Uh, a good quality probiotic. Look at the strains of bifidio and lactobacilli. Um, you can even you and you can prolong that for 90 days if you want. We see how many of our patients have tummy issues after those antibiotics, right? And if you want to go for something natural, and I, I'm not, I don't, I, I'm not really, I don't believe that we are at a place where I can comfortably say that herbal therapies will completely eradicate H. pylori if it's a true H. pylori infection, like by urea breath tests or stool testing. Now, if it's dysbiosis that you're seeing on a GI maps, what you may just be doing is just seeding, weeding, and improving things in the microbiome generally. And this we would do for whatever micro opportunistic bacteria is there. 